So I had a guy who just got started in my network marketing business just after Thanksgiving, about, I don't know, six weeks ago maybe, and already hit the top level in the business. Made 7,000 his first month. Is that normal? No. Why is it not normal? Because most people get in network marketing, they get in because they want a little bit of a side business, they wanna make a little extra money by doing a little extra work or by doing no work, unfortunately. And so uh, the disclaimer I would give to anybody who's looking at a home-based business in the network marketing space is it's amazing how people say, I don't want a get rich quick scheme. But when they don't get rich within their first 30 or 60 days, they quit and say, this business doesn't work. And uh, it's funny, isn't it? Isn't that, isn't that just, it's hysterical, but it's also sad because these are people that really want to succeed in life but they're not willing to do what it takes to do it, right? So the three components or the three um, uh, hallmarks uh, of a successful person in the network marketing business is you have to, number one, have a burning desire. Number two, you have to be willing to work. And number three, you have to be coachable. And I see people that are not coachable, try to do it their own way and they fail. I see people that come in, they don't do anything and they don't make any money and they fail. Uh, or I see people, they get in, they're willing to work or be coachable, but they just don't have the burn. Uh, and the burn is what you need. You need to have some, some, some kind of a fire in your belly to go out and do newer, bigger things in your life. So today I want to come to you and try to bring value. What do I mean by value? Can I share something with you that will be valuable, that will help you to grow and to help you grow your business? And so a few things that came into my mind today as I sat down in my home office here and turned on my camera is um, when I look back on the last five weeks working with this brand new associate who just hit the top level and will, without a doubt in my mind, will become a future millionaire club member in our business. Uh, there is one, a sense of urgency. Uh, the sense of urgency, meaning um, I was urgent, thereby transferring that to him, he became urgent Urgent meaning wanting to get it done now rather than later. Uh, wanting to get as much done each day as possible. Urgent uh, with prospects to sign up now versus putting it off till later. Uh, urgency is the, uh, is the opposite of procrastination. People want to be around or they want to attach themselves to people that are going places fast. And I believe this business is way more fun and way more effective, building it fast than slow. Success loves speed. And if you're just talking to a person here or there, you're just trying to build your business in a way where you're like, hey, it's a tortoise or the hare. It doesn't really make much, much difference. It's not a race. As long as you get to the finish line, it doesn't matter if it takes you five times longer to do it. I understand that logic, but it doesn't hold water. Because after 29 years of network marketing experience, people who try to do it slow tend to not stick around because they feel like they're stuck all the time. They feel like they're not gaining any ground. They feel like they're getting passed by by the urgent people. And they are. And so uh, my encouragement to you as I look back on the last five weeks is become urgent. Like when you're talking to a prospect, they need to sign up today, not, ne not tomorrow, not next week or next month, like today. Give them a reason to sign up today. For example, I've got a chapter in Building an Empire on dangling the carrot. I tell people, if you sign up right now, i got people I'm getting ready to sign up tonight, tomorrow, and the next day, and I'll be putting them underneath of you if you hurry up and fill out your application and beat them to the punch. So create urgency with your prospects. Uh, you can't do that if you're not urgent, right? If you're ho-hum, they'll be ho-hum. If you're slow, they'll be slow. Um, in Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, one of the things that Napoleon Hill found with uh, as he interviewed the 500 wealthiest people in the world at the time, he said, successful people are fast to make up their minds and quick to change them. Unsuccessful people are slow to make up their minds and then quick to change them. So help people uh, make decisions faster. Now, when I talk about urgency, 
It needs to be a healthy urgency. You should have goals that you are all about. Like you're sold out, you're all in, you're committed. I'm going to go do, uh, I'm going to go hit this rank by this date. And this date is not like the end of the year. It needs to be like, what is my next rank? And when can I hit it? Like this month, this week, tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Have an urgent goal. But at the same time, it needs to be a healthy urgency. You don't want to be stressed out. You don't want to develop ulcers. You don't want to, you know, uh, psych yourself out. So you need to have urgency, but it also needs to be healthy urgency. So if it's, uh, let's say it's January 11, um, and, uh, and, and you want to hit a goal by January 31st, and you got 20 days to do it, um, figure out, go, go to January 31st, go to the end and claim that victory. What does that look like? What do you need? What, what's going to happen? And then work your way backwards from there. So if you need to go out there and sign up 20 new people, or you need X number of thousands of dollars in sales volume, you know, figure it out. What, what's going to be the end game? And then work your way backwards to today. Like maybe you need two recruits a day. Maybe you need three customers a day, five customers a day from you and your team or whatever it is. Figure it out and then create an urgent game plan around that. Next, I want to share with you is, um, you know, I talked about fast versus slow. Momentum is the name of the game. Momentum is everything. So for example, let's say you and your team, you have a blitz that you're doing today. And that blitz might, uh, might maybe you've got a Zoom tonight uh, for, for prospects, a presentation Zoom. And you're trying to get yourself and everybody on your team. And by the way, don't miss what I just said. I didn't say you try to get your team to go invite to it. I said yourself and your team to go invite to it because you can't be a hypocritical leader. You can't say, go do it. I'm not going to do it, but you guys go do it. You can't do that. People don't like leadership like that. They want to say, do as you see, not as you hear. I'd rather watch a leader than to listen to one any day. So I tell people, hey, I'm going to invite people to tonight's Zoom. Here's how I'm going to do it. Let's all do as I'm doing today. And we even create a contest around it. We might even say, hey, whoever gets the most prospects on tonight's Zoom, I'm going to give them a prize. Uh, we're going to recognize you, whatever the case is. But create a sense of urgency with a very tight time frame like that day, a call to action, and create momentum. Get everybody inviting to it. And then uh, after that Zoom is done, everybody's doing their follow-ups, they're doing their sign-ups, they're putting people in their, in their drip list to be able to follow up on, on, ongoing in the future. But then after that blitz is done, what do you do? You follow up with something else quickly because you built some momentum there. You got your plane off the runway, you're up in the air, but you got to keep moving forward. Now, it might not be 100% throttle uh, after you get up to cruising altitude. You need 100% throttle, by the way, to get your plane off the ground. Otherwise, you're going to run into the trees and crash. So you got to go 100% throttle. So maybe t all day today, we're going to have 100% throttle. Everybody go crazy for tonight's 8 o'clock Zoom. But then uh, after that, tomorrow, throttle back to maybe 65 70% and have something else next. So you don't lose the momentum you just started to build. And it's, uh, it's blitz after blitz. It's focus after focus. It's keeping people uh, engaged in doing the activity so that the plane does not start to descend and land back on the ground again. It's very important that you create momentum and you maintain that momentum and then you'll find opportunities to advance that momentum. But it's all a momentum game. And if you don't have momentum in your business right now, then you know. You know what I'm talking about. You know how uh, desperate it might feel, how lonely it feels, how, how, how you might be getting in your thoughts and feelings about, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not, I'm not good at this. You know, this business doesn't work. You start questioning everything when you don't have momentum. And here's another thing about momentum. When you've got momentum, when you've got momentum, a leader can look better than they are. When you've got no momentum, a great leader looks worse than they are, right? So momentum is very interesting. So um, find a way to create momentum. And how are you going to do that? Focusing on IPA, income producing activity. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with your time each day. Uh, you can be sitting there looking at reports. 
studying your downline, looking at production numbers, uh, rearranging your desk, uh, trying to decide what you're going to say when you're going to call that prospect and you put it off for an hour because you're just psyched out. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you've got to be talking to prospects. The gateway activity for our business, the one thing you should be focused on every day is getting new prospects in front of the story. you got to keep telling the story to new prospects. You and your team have got to keep telling the story about your opportunity and product to more people every day. Income producing activity. Everything else, look, I don't want to say everything else is a waste. Some things, you're wasting time. You're just delaying. You're kicking the can down the road, procrastinating, whatever you want to call it. There are certain things that are not IPA that still need to be done. You need to, you need to call up your team members and promote for them to get on the team call each week. You've got to promote for them to buy a ticket to the convention. You've got to have game plan interview calls with the new associates, the new people that are joining your team. So you can launch them properly. Uh, you can have goal-setting conversations with each person on your team. Those are things that are non-IPA but are still necessary. 25% of your time is doing those things. The game plan interviews, the goal-setting, the promoting for events, the stuff that needs to get done. But the 75% of your time, and I have a whole chapter in Building an Empire about this, uh, you have to be talking to finding new prospects, following up on existing prospects, or talking to your team's prospects on three-way calls or tap rooting. Finding prospects, following up on prospects, and talking to your team's prospects. And talking to your team's prospects, that's another whole topic. Uh, that's either them putting you on a three-way call after they've edified you so you can tell your story and answer their questions and close them, or it's you tap rooting through your inactive, non-productive team members and asking them, hey, give me a list of three to five people that you know with a little bit about them, give me some compliments I can share with them. When I call them, I can compliment them based on what you told me about them. Um, make them receptive to have a conversation with me after I just made them feel real great. And let me approach them about what we're doing here. So again, that's another topic, right? It's like, how? what do you do? You know, you're, talk, you're finding your own prospects. You're, ta- you're following up with your own prospects. But that third one, the third one, right, is what? It's talking to your team's prospects. You should be doing three-way calls every day from team members that are reaching out and putting you on the phone with their prospects. And if you don't have enough three-way calls going on in your organization coming to you each day, as a leader, I would be concerned. I would say, what what can I do to educate the team on what, why, and how? Here's what a three-way call is. Here's why we do them. And here's how we do them. And then call to action. Let's get these going on. Everybody should be putting at least one person a day on a three-way call with me. That's the marching orders, right? And then again, if I have any time left in my day, uh, I will be tap rooting, asking people to give me some of their contacts, and I will reach out for them. My mentor said 25 years ago, Brian, never leave your financial future in anybody else's hands. If you've got somebody on your team and they've got a list of 100 people they're too scared to call, and they may even have quit or they're getting ready to quit or they're just sitting on their hands doing nothing about it, get their top 10 list. He said, would you rather go talk to 10 strangers at a gas station while you're pumping gas, striking up a conversation with a stranger, and you have no idea if that person's quality or not? Or would you rather go to one of your team members and say, hey, who are the 10 most quality people you know? He said, I'd rather talk to those 10 quality people that were referred to me that are semi-warm market because I can drop the name of the person who's making the, the referral versus talking to 10 strangers out and about, which I agree. So create urgency. It's better to build this business fast than slow. Get momentum. Keep it and advance it. Uh, Be productive doing IPA all day, every day. And lastly, I would probably say is uh, consistency. Be consistent. Be consistent. Uh, Yeah, you, you might say, well, I only have time to work this business a couple hours, a couple days a week. I understand that. Just remember this. It's not... Seven apples on Sunday keeps the doctor away. It's an apple a day keeps the doctor away. When you buy a one a day multivitamin bottle, it doesn't say take 30 on the first of the month and you're good all month long. You'd actually get sick if you took 30 of those gummies or or pills in one day. It's a pill a day. It's an apple a day. It's an exposure or a follow-up a day. Like 
Um, you, it's better that instead of you uh, spending three hours each Saturday building your business, you're better off spending 15 minutes a day, seven days a week building your business. Now, if you have to take one day off because you're on a family vacation and and you're just uh, you just have no time to do anything, which even then, even then, when I'm on family vacation, guess what? Our family still eats dinners and lunches. We still go to restaurants and talk to servers or a host or a hostess. You know, we I, I still fill up my tank of gas. And for that five minutes while I'm waiting for the gas to go into the tank, somebody else is pumping their gas right next to me. I can have a conversation with them. I still have people that are texting me while, while I'm pumping gas. If there's nobody there, I can actually return a couple text messages while the family's waiting in the car. Look, all excuses are equal. When you want something bad enough, you'll make time for whatever you got to do. Even if it's just split-second marketing, even if it's just finding slivers of time. While you're sitting down going to the bathroom, you can return a text or return a phone call. You literally, you can. Now, I'd probably do texting versus uh, having the echo uh, on a phone call in the bathroom. You guys catch what I'm saying there. But you find time, you make time. When you want something bad enough, look, it's not a lack of, resor of resources that holds anybody back from going to the top in network marketing. It's a lack of resourcefulness. Get resourceful. Make a decision. I'll leave you with this. Make a decision. The only reason why anybody is not at the top level of their comp plan in their network marketing company is because they didn't decide. They haven't decided that they uh, want it so badly that they're going to do whatever it takes to get there. And here's another thought. Indecision is still a decision. You're deciding to not decide. That is a decision. So when the day comes that you decide, the word decide sounds like suicide, homicide, pesticide. Aside means to kill something. When you kill the alternative, if there is no failure, then you must succeed. If there is no going backwards, then you must go forward. If there is, it, look, you've got to decide, I will be at the top. I'm going to do from today, from, from right now forward, I will do what it takes. I will be urgent. I will be consistent. I will be productive. I will have urgency and uh, I'll create momentum. I'll do all the things that, that I'm talking to you guys about right now. When you decide, suddenly things will change. But if you let your network marketing business just remain what it has been, which is a business of convenience, doing it only when it's convenient to do it, only when somebody jumps into your lap and asks you what you do and, hey, can you sign me up? Um, when you make it where it's a must do instead of a can do uh, or a I will do when it is convenient, when you make that decision, then everything will start working in your favor. The unseen forces in the universe will come to your aid and help you to get what you just proclaimed and committed to do. So I would encourage you to, de to decide. Decide you're going to the top. Put a time frame on it, a deadline. This is the date I want to do it by. Work backwards and figure out what you're going to do every day to make it happen. Uh, tell your upline, tell your downline, tell your team, tell everybody, hey, I'm, I'm doing this. Put it out there so you can't hide in the shadows anymore because so many network marketers, they hide in the shadows. They never proclaim any goals. They don't want to be embarrassed, so they just don't tell anybody what they're going to try to go do, and then they don't do it, and nobody knows. So, uh, you know, no harm, no foul. You need some harm. You need some foul if you don't go do what you're supposed to do because, look, you've got family. Your family is counting on you to go do this thing. They're counting on you to succeed. It's not fair to them. You can't, uh, you can't expect unconditional support forever. They can't, you can't be like, hey, five years from now, I still haven't done it yet, but hey, don't give me a hard time for building my, for being in a network marketing business. No, you're, you owe it to your, it's your duty to succeed. It's your duty. So do it. Do what you're supposed to do. And do it with a smile. Have fun with it. Have fun. Get, get a, a fun sense of urgency. Knowing that you've made a decision, you burn your ships, and you're going for it. And you're going to do it, and you're going to be celebrated on that stage with the confetti or the strobe lights or the, your name on the big screen with thousands of people cheering and clapping for you, posting all about it on social media, people saying, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful that I've got such and such your name as their leader, being on your team with you. I want that for you. It, it is it is amazing. Yeah, You know, sometimes I have to catch myself because I go to a convention or something and Everybody wants to stop me to 
take a picture or to get an autograph in a book or to, um, to just to say hello, you know, shake a hand or whatever. And you know, I got I got I got to remind myself, you know, even though I'm trying to get back to my room because I'm exhausted, or I'm trying to make a, meet up with a team for dinner, and I'm trying to get there and everybody's stopping me, I have to I have to say to myself, what's the alternative? Being a, a, a faceless person in the crowd who hasn't accomplished anything and nobody really cares what I think, or they don't want anything to do with me because they because I'm just I'm just they don't know who I am. Is that the alternative I would want? No. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that people care enough to say, Hey, can we get a picture together? How awesome is that? I want that for you. I want you to make a difference in other people's lives where they're just so proud to know you. And network marketing is the best business model because of the alignment of interest. The only way that your people will succeed is by you helping them. The only way you'll succeed is by your upline helping you. If you make money, your upline gets an override so they get paid to help you. If you make no money, they make no money. If you make a lot of money, they make a lot of money. It is a brilliant business model and don't let anybody try to convince you otherwise. They're just ignorant. Uh, if they are in corporate America, guess what? Their boss makes money off of them. The more money that the employee makes uh, for the company, the boss is happy. But the more money the boss makes... The employee doesn't get a dime of that. Like, you know, and, and the only way you get ahead in corporate America is by stabbing somebody in the back or, or, or stealing their opportunity to, to advance higher. Everybody, uh, there is there is so much room at the top. Everybody can go to the top in network marketing. Think about that. You can you can outrank your, your sponsor. You can make more money than your sponsor. I outranked and made way more money than the people in my upline. So guys and gals, uh, today I uh, just wanted to turn my camera on sitting here, in uh, sitting here in my home office. I don't work on Fridays. Uh, I decided years ago I was going to take Fridays off to play golf or go fishing or just go do something for me. Uh, when the kids are around, if it's summertime, and guess what? We go do something together. Uh, my wife, uh, Melissa, is a substitute teacher and she actually went in today to teach at the school where the kids go. So I got an empty house here today and I am just enjoying the peace and quiet uh, I've got a lot of gratitude in my heart. I'm um, getting ready to go in a little bit to meet a friend to play a little uh, a virtual simulator golf uh, up the street. So anyhow, I hope this uh, hope this uh, insight, I uh, hope this uh, little video I've recorded for you gives you some value today. Uh, if it does, please drop a comment and share one of your biggest takeaways. Uh, like and comment this video. Like and comment. I see you, YouTubers ask that all the time. Uh, and that's what they asked for. Hey, can you drop a like and drop a comment to help the algorithm so that uh, more people can actually see the, the value that I'm trying to put out there to everybody. So uh, hit, hit like, if you will. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I always try to uh, bring some value uh, from time to time. And, and again, drop a comment. I'd love to see what you got from today's video. Don't be shy. Don't scroll away. Just, just let this be a little bit conversational. Tell me below. What idea uh, kind of oppressed upon you something of value the most? All right, guys. Have a good day. See ya.